am I the asshole for leaving my surprise party because I felt blindsided? Last week, I was invited to a supposedly fancy party by my longtime boyfriend, Mark. We had been dating for five years, and while we had discussed marriage before, there were no immediate plans for a wedding. Excited about the event, I dressed up in my best attire and arrived at the designated venue as I entered the grand hall. I was completely taken aback to see all of our family, friends, and acquaintances gathered, eagerly waiting. It turns out Mark had orchestrated an elaborate surprise wedding for us without my knowledge. Everyone erupted into applause as I stood there, shocked and overwhelmed. I just felt a mix of emotions. While I love Mark and had dreamed of our future together, the idea of getting married without any prior discussion or consent felt like a breach of trust. So, I pulled Mark aside and tried to express my concerns and reservations about the surprise wedding. I explained that I wanted a say in the planning process to be part of the decision-making and to have the chance to prepare mentally and emotionally for such a significant milestone in our lives. However, Mark dismissed my concerns, saying that he thought it would be a romantic gesture and that I would be thrilled. In that moment, I faced a difficult choice go along with the surprise wedding, putting on a smile despite feeling unsettled, or stand up for my autonomy and voice my true feelings. I ultimately made the decision not to proceed with the surprise wedding, much to the disappointment and confusion of our guests. Now, I find myself at odds with Mark, our families, and even some of our friends who believe I overreacted and spoiled a beautiful moment. However, I firmly believe that a marriage should be a joint decision, with open communication and shared expectations. Everyone's excuse for this is I have always talked about marrying Mark, and again the problem isn't marrying him, the problem is not having any say in my wedding. Mark thought I'd appreciate it, because I always spoke about how stressful planning a wedding must be, yes, I think it's stressful, it is but I'd still like planning one. After this whole ordeal everyone asked if Mark and I were ending things, in which I replied no. I emphasized towards them and Mark I still wanted to marry him, and most feel like this is making me more of an asshole since I just wasted a perfectly fine wedding. So am I the asshole for refusing to attend my own surprise wedding, even though it was intended as a romantic gesture? Edit. I previously omitted this from my post because of the subreddit's word count guidelines. I love surprises it's a thing everyone has known me to love. Mark knowing that, the fact I wanted to marry him, and said wedding planning was stressful thought a surprise wedding would be perfect. A surprise engagement is bland because it will always be a surprise but not a wedding lol. He threw this wedding for the surprise, but explained how in a couple days we could do a courthouse wedding to make it legal. This was his only way to surprise me. I love spontaneity, but legal marriage or not. I wanted a say in my wedding to choose the perfect date, to choose my bridesmaids, to pick out my cake. Again due to these thoughts everyone thinks I'm the asshole because I could have went along with the party and do a redo legal wedding. But again I felt blindsided and confused so I left. Am I the asshole for leaving dinner to get my son McDonald's? Even though food was served, a friend of my wife's invited my family, my wife, our son, and I, over for dinner with him and his daughter. As long as we've known him, this friend has kept to a very strict diet, which has almost always led to us eating over at his place. But he is an excellent cook so I've never minded. We have not, however, seen him since both of our children were infants. For dinner, we were served salmon with quinoa and aragula. My son is very mild for a five-year-old. He throws tantrums very rarely and is the opposite of a picky eater, but I could tell from how he was acting that he was not vibing with this meal. He was picking at his plate, shuffling food, and while he did try the salmon, he didn't seem to like it. I asked him if he was happy with his dinner and he said no, he wasn't. I basically said, how huh, kids, right, and asked if there was anything else for my son to eat. My wife's friend said that his daughter just eats whatever he makes, so he doesn't keep kid food around the house. My wife said it was fine, our son would be fine, while he's a mild kid. He definitely gets hangry and this was the beginning of our night, so we anticipated being there for an additional hour or two. I said that our son needed to eat so he'd have energy to play and apologized, saying I'd be gone for just a few minutes, picking something up for our kid. My wife's friend seemed irked, but said he'd try and keep my plate warm. I was gone for about 30 minutes, came back with a happy meal, ordered extra fries in case his daughter wanted any, which she was not allowed to have. 
By the time I was back, dinner was winding down. My son ate his meal, we had dessert, and he went off to play with his friend. It was definitely a hiccup in the night, but things went fine, we had a good time, but my wife was definitely cold with me. When we got home, three hours after dinner, she told me that I was an ass at dinner for no reason. I pointed out that if I hadn't gotten our son dinner, he would have been a monster the entire way home, to which she replied that we would have left earlier. I said I was just looking to solve the problem as it happened and that if her friend had been more accommodating, we wouldn't have been in the situation in the first place. She got offended on his behalf and we decided to just go to bed because we clearly were not getting anywhere. It's been two days since, things are still stilted between us, and I'm not sure where I went wrong. Am I the asshole for leaving dinner to get my son food, even though dinner was served? Am I the asshole for not wanting to talk to my dad even though he got mental help and then making him cry for telling the truth on his birthday? My dad used to be abusive. It got so bad that my mom and he lost custody of us. After that, my grandparents adopted all five of us and my mom left my dad after getting an ultimatum from my grandparents and life kind of just went on. Fast forward to today, 13 years later, I am 25 and am disappointed to say that my grandparents died and my mom went back to my dad. All of my siblings also reconnected with him and say he changed completely, although most are not close to him. From what I heard, after losing his family he finally got mental help and was diagnosed with severe PTSD. He is an army vet and bipolar disorder. He spent the better part of a decade getting professional help and looks like it worked. Now, my brother and mom are guilt-tripping me into talking to him. They constantly tell me how he was mentally unwell and to give him a second chance since he misses me and wants to make things right, but I really don't want to. I am glad everyone's happy but I just don't want to put myself through all that. I have lived 13 years without him and don't want to have any contact with him ever again. I live on my own so they can't do anything about it really. They are basically saying that he wants to be absolved of his past and by not wanting to talk to him and living in the past, I am making an old man's life miserable since his sins are following him. They keep saying he just wants to hear my voice. I still ain't budging cause I feel like he gave away that right a long time ago. Recently, it was my dad's 70th birthday and they invited me. I said no, but apparently, they made up some convoluted story that I was on a vacation abroad and sent a photo of me and my boyfriend with a text saying, Happy 70th birthday dad, love Akron 98. To my dad, apparently, he loved it and started brainstorming ideas where to meet with me to talk after I get back from my trip. My sister was present and texted me what had happened. I got so mad that I called my brother told him to put me on speaker and told everyone at the birthday that I didn't send that message and don't want to have anything to do with my father and then hung up. I got missed calls from my brother and later text calling me heartless and asking me if I am proud of myself for making a 70-year-old man cry on his birthday. He also called me vindictive and childish for living in the past. I said what my wishes were and that they didn't respect them. They made him cry, not me. Now all my extended relatives think I am a huge bitch. Even now the rest of my siblings support me, so I don't know what to make out of all of this. I just want my wishes to be respected and I don't think him getting therapy really can wipe away abusing his family for over two decades. Am I the asshole for telling my friends I won't hang out with her until she has her own money? I want to start off this post by saying I'm a single mom who works hard for my money, I love going out to eat and buying things but I also save up for these things. I recently made a friend who I'll call Minnie, a few times I've treated her because I asked her to come with me to restaurants. Anyway, one day Minnie invited me somewhere so since I've paid for her in the past I thought she would cover me. I ordered something cheap that was about $10 and I had a water and she got herself about $40 worth of food. When the check comes she hands it to me and tells me that she only have $11. I was so confused. If you only have $11 why order almost four times the amount in food? I cover the tab. Then it happened again on my birthday. She ordered food but also didn't have money so I paid. She invited me over for dinner and when I got there she told me I needed to help pay for the chicken she wanted to make and then told me to go to the store. I went back home and got to leftover chicken thighs I had and gave them to her and she was upset but said it will do. 
Then one day while I solo at the restaurant she and her husband showed up and sat with me. I had a feeling she might do this again but I only had a gift card to that place and my phone. The place doesn't take Apple Pay. The check comes and she tells the waitress to cut it down the middle. I immediately said no because I only order $18 worth of food and plan to use the rest of my $25 gift card for a tip. She was shocked and asked me how she was going to pay for her almost $90 order. She huffed and told her husband to use the credit card. Apparently, she told him I would help cover the bills so he got mad at me for taking it back. I never said I would pay for them. Then this morning she asked me if we were going out to lunch. I told her no because I know she would find a way to make me pay again. And then I told her I won't go anywhere else with her until she actually has her own money. She has since been ignoring me and I'm perfectly okay with this friendship ending and told her that this friendship isn't worth it and to stop talking to me altogether. Later in the day her husband messaged me and told me that I was an asshole for hurting her feelings and that friends treat friends. He mentioned how she would cook for me and I said, yes with food that I bought and shared with the two of you. He didn't say anything else other than telling me I was rude and only valued money. So tell me, was I the asshole for saying this to her or could I have been nicer about it?